This is our Cambria 2 model. This is the largest home that we do in this particular community. It's about 1,600 square feet. The next room I want to show you is our third bedroom or den. Right now, I wanted to let you know that Arizona is about the second hottest real estate market in the country next to Atlanta. Well, the only thing they can get out of balance is if we get too many people. As I say, when I was born here, there were about 10,000 people living in the whole valley. Now there are two million. Two million is a rather large number of people for us to service with water. The things that Reclamation did in building water projects allowed a lot of growth. But the problem we face today is that there's just not enough water to go around. We have underground watering systems with a small drain to every plant, a small drip system. We also have sprayer systems for the grassy areas. Now, of course, this is called desert landscaping. And my grandmother would go over there and fetch water, very little. And that expected to last maybe for a couple of days. And then when I, when I see my grandmother uh, wash dishes after dinner, she put her water into one cup. She put her hand in like that, and she put that same water into another cup. And then, then she finally throw it out. And that's how she uses water, because the water has to last a long time. The reason why we live in this desolate area is because it's harsh. And that's the only way that you can be as close to the spiritual being. And the closer you are to the spiritual being, the more that you are, will maintain your humbleness. So, so we look at this survival in terms of maybe thousands of years in the future. As you can see right now, we're lucky, um, the fountain's going off right through the trees over here. Now that goes off every hour on the hour. That fountain shoots up over 500 feet. It's actually taller than the Washington Monument. There will never be enough water in the Colorado River to satisfy all the demand on it, ever. We will never augment it by relocating another river from the northwest to make it bigger. And when the pie doesn't grow, you just cut smaller pieces of pie. Perhaps we've created uh, some problems that we'll never solve, and by uh, attracting people, making it easier for people to move into a harsh environment. I don't know why everybody should have a swimming pool in their own backyard. I don't know why they should have a green lawn uh, when cactus would look better in a desert environment. I can sit here in 1995 and I can say to John Wesley Powell, you were wrong. The Colorado River at that time was a whole different river system. And it was running wild, and it didn't look very manageable. But we've engineered our way out of that problem. We have put so many dams and reservoirs on that system that there is adequate water in the Colorado River. But the system is fragile. When runoff predictions went awry in 1983, Thundering water ripped boulders and pulverized rock from Glen Canyon's spillway tunnels. Glen Canyon, they almost lost it when they were a little chintzy. I don't want the dam to go all at once. It was to take out Hoover, Parker, and Davis downstream because they're not built to handle 26 million acre feet of water coming down all at once. If Hoover Dam collapsed, the entire economy of the Southwest would be catastrophically affected. We, we can't imagine until something like this happens how dependent we've become on the liberties we've taken with the natural order. We have turned nature on its head. In Phoenix, the average August temperature is over 100. Here and there amidst the abundance are a few abandoned orange groves and subdivisions. Their supply of Colorado water shut off. This is what happens when the water stops. Today, more people, farms, and industries depend on the Colorado than on any comparable river in the world. Never has such a river been asked to do so much. Next on Cadillac Desert.